Prime Scan versus Omnicam. You know, we've had a lot of questions about the difference between the two. And is it really, should we upgrade? Is it really that big of a difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've had a unique opportunity because we're right at a year use of the Prime Scan, and uh, we are also one of the beta testers for the Omnicam. So, I, I'll be honest. I mean, the the Omnicam has a little bit of my heart because this was the transition from powdering into a color color right. system, and so I, w there was so much pride that came with this. And yeah. uh, you know, Seric twenty seven and a half was such a huge event so this was groundbreaking in dental technology but this was from 2012 mm -hmm. right and so i really think that they've maxed out what the technology is in the omnicam although i think it's very capable capable system mm -hmm. when you go over to the prime scan it's a completely different animal and really in a nutshell the ease of use versus the two is so much mm -hmm. that uh, although this works extremely well, right. once you use this, you'll see why this is being left behind. You know, one of the big selling points, um, you know, there was many that separated the Omnicam from other intraoral um, scanners, but you know, really it was the size of the camera. And mm -hmm. for, you know, for a female holding it, the ease of use, you know, was was huge for um, for assistants or female doctors or anybody with petite small hands. Sure. And so I'll be honest, when I seen the prime scan, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, it's so much bigger, but what this camera sees and the ease of use, it it is awesome. Yeah, and so although it's bigger, it can actually see in angles mm -hmm. that this can't. So in our Seric Straightforward class, we always talk about 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Like when you're using the Omnicam, yep. you really got to get 90 degrees to the surface for it to really just like image right. really well. Right. This is more like 60 degrees. Uh, yeah, I mean, and it sees so much, and it really is faster. Mm -hmm. um, one because of how much it sees, but you can you can just image a lot faster. Right. Uh, with so the prime scan. one of the questions we had today in our class was, uh, you know, how are you going to see uh, the distal of a second molar on this? Like if you're using the ortho mm -hmm. scan. Well, the thing is, is because this can see like to 60 degrees rather than 90 degrees. When you get it right over the occlusal surface, uh -huh. you're already seeing most of the distal mm -hmm. surface, and then just tipping it slightly. It, it really it soaks up. up that data really fast, whereas this one you really had to get around mm -hmm. the corner. So although bigger, um, it's actually a lot more efficient. Right. So the way the prime scan actually works, uh, well, first of all, it has a tip that can be taken off. So there's multiple different mm -hmm. tips for sterilization purposes. So everything's contained within this camera right here. There's also a disposable tip. The heating element is within the camera, so uh, with the Omnicam, the heating element is on the computer, right. mm -hmm. and so it will keep the glass warm so it won't fog. fog. But the sensor is much larger, so there's a higher resolution of data, of course. But the neat thing is when you're using this, you can hear a rattle noise as it's happening, mm -hmm. and it's a dynamic lens. So as you're moving around, mm -hmm. it's actually compensating for the movement, and so you get more well, uh, you get better, you get more better data. I don't know how else to say that. More better. More better, more mm -hmm. better. But uh, so with this, it, as you're moving around, you're getting blurry images at mm -hmm. the same time, whereas this is already compensating same for that. Yeah. Then by the time it, the data gets into the back of the camera, another reason for the size, there's actually a processor within the camera that is filtering out all of that uh, uh, distorted data mm -hmm. or blurry data. Mm -hmm. And so by the time it gets through the cord and into the camera, it's already gone through a, let's call it a digital wash process. So when you're seeing the model being formed on the screen, it's already almost complete. It still has some processing mm -hmm. to do, but that's the huge difference between this because all of the data goes through here and then gets to the computer. So you're seeing a lot of the noise. And yeah. for any Omnicam owners, you know what I'm talking about. You see all the the pixels right. and everything yeah. around, and you're like, why did this get so weird? This, the initial models are already mm -hmm. better on this. They're so, so new, clean. What do you think about the new uh, touch screen and the trackpad and everything, the, the computer case for this? Um, you know, it's it's got pros and cons, sure. you know, to me. 
Um, I'm all about keeping things simple and easy, and I want to, you know, get, I'm not a computer person, so I don't, but I do like the cleanliness of it, so mm -hmm. being able to wipe everything down, um, and then there's a lot of parts. I love being able to rotate the models and zoom in all by the touch screen, you know, mm -hmm. portion of it, but like anything else on your phone, when you go to touch something, you know, although your phone is small, you know, you hit another button, and the sliders, you know, to me, yeah. maybe I have fat fingers, they're, you know, <laughs> they're kind of hard to slide up and down, but I think, you know, getting used to it, but I think the the pros are, are much better than the few things that, you know, is going to take some getting used to. So, I, again, we are very much used to the trackball and the oh, buttons yeah. and no yeah. touch screen. But when right. we do our classes on the Omnicam, uh -huh. what are we doing when we go? We are trying to zoom. Every time we're, we're trying to zoom in and we're trying to fix the contact off the you touch know, off the touch screen. Yeah. yeah. And when we first got the prime scan, I was thinking, ah, there's no way I'm going to use this touch screen, but yeah. I'm, I'm totally used to zooming in, uh -huh. moving things around. Yeah. And so the touch, this is the way I look at it. The yeah. touch screen, uh, you can position it in a way that's more ergonomic mm -hmm. for you. You can even stand and do it. And so you can do all pretty much everything all the way through for a single unit. Yeah. If you're doing multiple units, like you need to sit down, I personally, you're going to start getting tired using the touch screen because you're lifting your whole arm. arm. Right. And then yeah. you can go to the trackpad mm -hmm. and, and use it, mm -hmm. but you can still plug in a mouse. Yes. If you wanted to. Uh -huh. And so when we do our veneers and the, a lot of complex movements on multiple units, the mouse goes in and I'm just doing it off of the, uh -huh. the counter, which is, uh, which is nice. Because I kind of feel like um, on the, where the track pad is, mm. it's almost like using two hands, which we tell people not to because there's no tactile sense for the butt for the buttons and so I feel like I have to look down you know mm -hmm. every time and that's just me so it's like we teach them you don't use two hands when you use a mouse yep. you know when with the track or the track ball because people want to push the button you know so I find myself wanting to do that with the well so there's know, a lot of people the watching the video button. right now that are using the track ball explain what you mean with that because you'll on be the fact, Omnicam right so with the Omnicam and the track ball you'll see a lot of people so they'll like doing their margin so they use two hands mm -hmm. and and i was really guilty of doing that because i felt like i was faster and dr hook's like no you're not the <laughs> fastest designing on the omni cam is going to be using one hand because when you use a mouse you don't do it and click do it and click right you know and so we in a ton of our pictures we make them sit on their hand so you they'll know, use and, one hand. And they'll use one hand. And they're so, faster. Yep, and they're faster. But you can feel the button with your thumb. So that yep. was just kind of one thing that it, I had to really get used to was just knowing the distance with your hand because you can't feel. But have you splat. noticed, we haven't even talked about this, have you noticed that with the prime scan computer, you uh -huh. don't use two hands? When no. you're on the track no. pad, you were you're, back to one you're hand. You're back to one hand, right. Yeah, so yeah. all the people that make fun of me online uh -huh. that uh, I say two hands are slower, <laughs> slower, I promise you with the Prime Scan, you're not going to be using the track pad no, and pushing the button did, anymore. Right. You're right, because right. I did, yep, to use one hand. You know, another thing that I want to say is um, doing full arch scans like with ortho. Oh, um, right. We struggled a lot with, you know, the Omni hand. It's great, but... But it was, we needed to, you needed two people, and there was a lot, you know, involved mm -hmm. with getting a full arch scan. And with the prime scan, you can get through that full arch scan, and the articulation of it is so good. Yeah, so I, in the history of CEREC, I've always mm -hmm. said that the red camera, you know, that old little red camera from 15 years ago, was great for single units. That was it. Blue camera was kind of for twos and threes mm -hmm. and then the Omnicam was for m more multiple units and you could mm -hmm. get into full arch scanning and yeah. you know Invisalign and things like that but this is definitely for the sure. full-blown full arch yeah. color scanner mm -hmm. uh, because it has everything built into it including the software for full arch scans. Anyway, uh, if you are an Omnicam user and you're looking to do prime scan you're not going to make a wrong decision moving up to the Ferrari of scanners. But now that I keep saying it, now it's in my brain. It's going to be in your brain. I know. Prime scan versus Omnicam. <laughs> I thought I said it again. <laughs> oh.